My name is Sarah Zelinka. I am a senior at Oklahoma State University and I'm doing my presentation over pesticide ch testing in chickens. What are pesticides, you might ask? Pesticides are defined as a chemical preparation used to kill harmful plants, animals, and fungi. Most common uses are in commercial crops, such as the crop dusting and the red stuff we find on corn kernels, which is actually a fungicide. And personal uses, such as gardens, I like to use diatomaceous earth because it is non-toxic when you eat it and it's washed off really well. It washes off really easily. Uh, pesticides are found in a lot of common substances that we don't really think about, such as couch cushions and carpets. What is tested at the lab for pesticides? We have to test for chicken, the pesticides in chickens, the chicken feed, and the soil of a chicken house before it is built. Why though? Well, pesticides are harmful to our bodies. They can cause cancer, liver and lung problems, and reproductive issues. We like to test things before we eat it to avoid any sort of sickness or issues with people because it's easier to prevent a problem than do damage control. And testing products before they're eaten is the best way to do it because ingestion of pesticides can cause the same issues at a slower rate. This is a list of 16 pesticides that we test for most commonly at Tyson. These are pictures of some of the things that we test for. This is a chicken fat pad that we test for. Not pictured here is soil that we test for at the chicken houses. And we have corn and feed ingredients. This is a picture of feed ingredients called DDG that is commonly tested. How do we test them? Well, the samples are all sent to the lab. We don't go out and get them. And then the fat pads that were just shown in the last pit, last slide are microwaved to a liquid form, but not so hot that they destroy the chemicals that we're testing for. And the feed ingredients are put in a solution of petroleum ether to extract the fat. But why is fat important? Well, in all of the pesticides that were just listed are fat soluble compounds. So to ha find the highest concentration of the pesticides, we have to look in the fats. Further pesticide procedure. Once the fats are extracted, they are put into 10 milliliter tube flasks, which are shown right here. And here you see an analyst taking one mil from each sample and putting it into a filtering syringe. And then that syringe is then flushed with petroleum ether and ethyl ether to ensure its purity. After it's been flushed, each sample is moved to this machine where it is flushed with compressed nitrogen and evaporates the samples completely. After they're evaporated completely, they are reconstructed with two mils of hexane to reconstitute them to where they're very small and concentrated samples of what we need to test. And after they're reconstituted, they are then transferred into auto sampler cartridges, shown in the next slide. Over here, the furthest side, we see an auto sampler cartridge. It kind of looks like a um, thing that we put in. 
and then it is placed into a tray with several other samples and each one is individually labeled and numbered so that we know which farm and which samples are positive and which ones are negative. And then they are placed on this machine, it is called a gas chromatograph, where they are injected in from the machine and pushed through a lot of really small tubing, which is why we need it to be very pure because if they are dirty samples, they won't go through very well and the clean samples are easily readable. And the results are shown in the next slide. Over here we have all of our working standards. All the peaks that are shown are the pesticides that we know that we are looking for. And down here is a negative result where there are no peaks and it is perfectly clean and beautiful and that's what we want to see. And right here is a false positive where you can see that there are peaks along the test, but the working standards that I've highlighted in red don't match up with any of the peaks that are shown to be positive on this picture. Thank you, and hope you enjoyed my presentation. We did it.